Dear learners, in this video, we will discuss about the object in ontological engineering. In real world, we can see uh, many objects consisting of primitive, that is the atomic particles and also the composite objects which can be built from the simple objects. By reasoning, at the level of large objects such as fruits, cards, etc., we can overcome the complexity involved in dealing with a vast number of primitive objects individually. Individuation indicates that, uh, uh, say for example, uh, a part of a butter. A part of a butter will also be a butter. Okay, so this is what we call it as individuation. Okay, so the expression here is written as if B, the variable B belongs to the category butter and P is a part of B. It's a predicate, so we'll be reading it as uh, a variable P is a part of B, where B is already defined as B is a butter. If B is a part of P, then we call P also as butter. P belongs to butter category. So this is uh, what the individuation uh, uh, thing is represented in case of objects. Generically, objects add two properties. The first one is intrinsic properties these intrinsic properties are retained even on subdivision of the object they belong to every substance of an object rather than to the object as a whole for example consider any object like a butter or whatever the flavor or the color or the taste of the whole butter object as well as a part of the butter is not going to change. They are retained even on subdivision. Such properties we call it as intrinsic properties. Some of the examples of the intrinsic properties are density, boiling point, the flavor, color, etc. will not get changed even on subdivision. Such kind of properties are said to be intrinsic properties. The second set of properties, the extrinsic property, they are not retained under subdivision. They purely depend on the size of the sample. Say for example, the weight, length, shape of a particular object, when it is subdivided, its weight, length and shape is tend to change. Say consider the same butter object, if the initially the uh, uh, butter is in some particular shape with a certain length and a, a weight, after subdivision, definitely the weight and length that when you cut into pieces, then the weight and length is definitely going to change. That is, they are not going to retain to be retained on subdivision. Such kind of properties are called as extrinsic properties of an object. 